XDC ecosystem has been supportive from day one when I started and we have figured out some very unique use cases with XTC and those use cases are around forex trades, we are launching a leverage gold, long and short both and these use cases are not there anywhere in the world, right, where you can do leverage trade of, you know, forex and all these RW assets like gold. Hello everyone and welcome to the XDC MENA podcast where we talk about blockchain, technology, innovation and of course XDC network. Today we are joined uh, with Panjal Prashar, a serial tech entrepreneur and he will be discussing one of his ventures, WeFi. So Pranjal, diving to the first question, tell us who you are, a bit of your background and what do you do? Thank you so much. Thanks for inviting me to this podcast. Uh, I've been a tech entrepreneur for almost a decade now. I started my entrepreneurship journey almost uh, 10, 11 years ago. Starting from a hardware startup, moved to SaaS. And while I was building the SaaS, I had opportunity to interact with the Web3 ecosystem, experimented around mining, hardware mining, uh, explored all the trading aspects long back, 2017-18. So uh, during the course of time, I decided to build the next venture in Web3. The idea was, Unlike Web2 Ventures, where there's a push to sell the product, there's a community pull, right? If you build a good product, good protocol, and if you educate the community well, they are your users, they are your investors, they are the beneficiary. So, and then I decided to get into Web3. Nice, very impressive career. So from a tech guy, you, you move into making your own venture. So uh, today we will be discussing WeFi, right? Tell us more about what is WeFi. Is it even an acronym or does it stand out for anything? Yeah, so WeFi is short for WeFinance. Um, okay. We started exploring the DeFi space back in 2021. The idea was to build around under-collateralized uh, lending borrowing marketplace. Uh, we were largely inspired by what happens in real world scenario around mortgage and car loan scenario. We wanted to build something similar on chain. Uh, like when you buy a home or a car, then you don't pay the full amount, right? You just pay a part of it and then you borrow a certain amount, purchase it, and the purchase asset becomes the collateral. So we wanted to, to do something similar in this space and we started with the name Paxo, P-A-X-O. Uh, over a period of time, the, our thought process, our understanding of the space evolved and we thought of solving a larger problem. Why just restrict ourselves to undercollateralized lending we can, when we can do much more? So we repositioned ourselves and from Paxo we became WeFinance, short WeFi. So uh, that's what we are currently offering. In WeFi, the idea is we have a leverage engine. Again, the core part remains the same. We still have that engine where we do undercollateralized lending. Uh, but as a use case, we can offer mm -hmm. leverage trade, leverage farms, leverage staking on top of the entire tech rack. So WeFi, it seems like it's it's giving financial services like lending and borrowing and also earning interest, uh, but into crypto side. Or is it any different to traditional trade finances? And definitely. So um, traditional finance is a very large and evolved ecosystem. Uh, what we are doing is we are bringing those similar instruments, similar functionalities on chain, of course, with, you know, more flexibility. So one of the key advantages is uh, you can do entire lending borrowing in a trustless and permissionless manner. So that means you don't need to do get approval from any single company or even from us. The smart contracts take care of entire scenario. So if you're opening a position, if you're borrowing, repaying, even uh, interest calculation, everything is based on the smart contract. And there's no human involvement. There is no per, you know permission required to do any functionality. Uh, for other end users, it's also more seamless. It doesn't require any KYC. You can do leverage. Uh, you can just connect your wallet and start trading without uh, involving any third party. Most of the leverage or perpetuals, uh, you know, where we are, where you are taking a larger uh, position by borrowing, that doesn't have a real asset in the back end. Mm -hmm. If you open a 5x, 10, 10x margin position or a, a perpetual position on any centralized or decentralized one, it's mostly based on just the price movement. Somebody is buying your position on the other side. Right? What we have done is we have created an ecosystem where every leverage position is backed by real asset in the in the back end. 
So if you are, let's say, putting your own $10,000 and borrowing $90,000 to do a 10x leverage on ETH long, the entire 100k worth of ETH is purchased and logged in the protocol. And since there is a real asset in the backend, uh, we can enable so many other use cases on top of it. So we use compos composability uh, to enable use cases around leverage staking or leverage farming. So that's one key advantage. Uh, of course, we have a lending pool where bar users can provide uh, tokens like FXD on XDC network and on in interest. We also have a pool for Euro, so EURS, uh, that's by Stasis. So as an end user, you can participate in two different capacities. One where you can just provide your assets and earn stable yield on your, uh, your assets. And the second is you can borrow from the protocol and do leverage trades. Um, so if you're a trader and if you're doing leverage trade, this is the place where you get the cheapest uh, capital to borrow and trade. Okay, these are perfect advantages of, of WeFi. And what motivated you in that project? I mean, why did you create this project? So I have been into crypto for quite some time always. Uh, and I was also exposed with a small fund where we were doing our own leverage trades on chain. And we felt a need of a uh, you know, protocol or a permissionless system where we can go long and short and the asset can be used uh, you know, for other purposes as well. So based on our own understanding of, hey, we need this type of uh, solution, we decided to uh, go into it. Previously, I was uh, running a SaaS venture and it was a, a different setup, a different world altogether. Based on my understanding of Web3 and Web2, I decided to build in Web3 because it has a pull instead of a push from the community side. Okay, perfect. So it's very amazing hearing these founders, hearing the motivation of the project, why did they create the project itself? And you mentioned that you have a token, right? And what does it do? What's the utility of this token? Yeah, so we launched our governance token last year. Uh, it's currently trading on a couple of centralized exchanges. We also have pools on uh, indexes. It's, it's, it's a purely a governance token where the end use case is to govern the entire ecosystem around what type of assets we should list, what type of uh, blockchains we should work with, uh, the risk factor around it. So that's the current use case. Uh, currently, we are trading on MEXC and Bitru. On uh, DEX's side, we have a pool on Uniswap. So aside from being a governance token where I can participate in the voting or how uh, the protocol works, it's also a utility token, right? I can buy and sell your token? Yes. So on the utility side of it, if you're holding the token uh, in the coming weeks, the use cases will allow you users to get benefit in terms of discount, in terms of trading, mm -hmm. uh, getting better return on their investments in, uh, you know, when they're uh, depositing their stables on the pools. So if you're holding the token, you get discount, you get benefit like any other loyalty program. Nice. That's very interesting as a retailer, as a consumer. And WeFi is also already deployed to XDC network, right? Yes. I can think of a lot of reasons why you chose XDC network, but please indulge the audience. So uh, XDC ecosystem has been supportive from day one. When I started building this uh, protocol, I got in touch with Atul uh, over LinkedIn and he introduced me to a couple of amazing people in the ecosystem. Since then, we have been engaged at various level beat ideation side of it, you know, be it figuring out the right use cases of lending borrowing. Uh, and it was my promise to launch on XDC as when, when we are, whenever we are ready. And we have figured out some very unique use cases with, with XDC. And those use cases are around Forex trades. We are launching a leverage gold, long and short both. And these use cases are not there anywhere in the world, right? Where you can do leverage trade of, you know, Forex and all these RW assets like gold. Uh, so these are some very unique opportunities. Uh, we do pretty well on XTC. I believe we are doing around close to $5 million in trade volume per month with just one Forex pair. And we have a roadmap to expand further. Great. And Franjal, thank you for honoring that promise. And XTC Network is obviously a smart choice. And at the time of this recording, XTC Network has been partnering with rep reputable incubators and accelerators. So if you have a DeFi protocol like BFI or any use case that you have, I encourage you to apply, build on XDC network, and hopefully we'll see you guys on the demo day. All right. So Pranjal, going back uh, with BFI, I believe we have prepared a demonstration. Let's see that in action. Definitely.
That's a wonderful demonstration, um, Pranjal. All the things, the uniqueness that you mentioned, the advantages, it's truly backed up with all the things that you showed in the demonstration. It came together so well. And uh, yeah, you, you and your team is expert on the DeFi space. So um, Pranjal, it's been like, it's, it's, it's a very tough competition out there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we started, I mean, the steps of DeFi started way back in 2017 with the development of smart contracts with Ethereum. And all those years, there's a lot of DeFi protocols that enter the space. So how is WeFi since the time it launched? So uh, you said it right, it's a very competitive space. And uh, as a protocol, as a tech company, you have to be on edge of everything. If you're not constantly innovating, if you're not upgrading idea, products, protocols, the way it functions, you'll be obsolete. Uh, I think in last, since 2017, things have changed, rap, you know, drastically compared to what and the kind of protocols we used to see back in 2017, 18. Uh, the technology has evolved so much. Uh, it's important for us or any company like us to constantly be updated about what is, you know, coming in the market and accordingly build our entire product solution and narrative around it. So, of course, we have evolved. So that's why we, you know, when we started, we were focusing on under collateralized side of it. And today what we are doing is far bigger than what, what we thought in 2021. Um, and at least for next few quarters, I see even a larger roadmap. So uh, with new innovations like account abstractions and uh, so many things around intent-based architecture, the possibilities are limitless now. Okay, great. Uh, the achievement is good. And thank you for touching a bit on the roadmap. But is there any, will you be attending any event? Is there any imminent partnership with WeFi or listing yes yeah, so with xdc we are going to launch gold leverage gold i think that's uh, supposed to happen sometime over the next few weeks time uh, that's one major product side of uh, story with xdc so product will be launched on multiple chains we are uh, of course we are planning to attend some of the major events like uh, token 2049 in uh, singapore uh, will be there uh, we'll also be there in korea blockchain week most likely uh, we are also exploring the BTC L2s for launch on the protocol side of it. 
Oh, nice. Perfect. So if you guys are attending those events, please make sure to visit or meet WeFi team. Uh, Panjal, also, um, suppose these investors would like to invest in your project or even trade. I think you already mentioned some of the exchanges, but please tell us more where to find you, some website or even sure. DEXs. Sure. So uh, we are active on Twitter. That's kind of the first place for every crypto protocol. Um, we can be, you know, we can be accessed through website as well. And that's vfi.xyz. Uh, you can find all the information there. Uh, we are active on Telegram and Discord as well. Okay, great. So all of our viewers out there, please make sure to follow the website. All those links will be put on the description of the video. And yeah, uh, uh, Pranjal, as we near the end of, the, uh, of our podcast, thank you so much. And if you have any final message to our viewers out there, please let us know. Thank you so much for, for the invitation. And I encourage everyone to try the product, you know, play with the test nets on any chain where you are comfortable. Try the leverage Forex use cases we have on XTC. Uh, give us feedback if you have any on Discord, Telegram, Twitter. Uh, I'm there everywhere. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pranjal. Appreciate your time and being part of the podcast. So to all of our viewers, if you want to know more about XDC Network, please go to www.zinfin.org. If you are a tech enthusiast or a blockchain enthusiast, please uh, register to our forum and participate in the discussion. It's called xdc.dev. Again, links will be on the description. So yeah, keep learning, keep exploring, and then until next podcast, thank you.